welcome to this week's episode of Geek Out. We are here with three members of the dev team from the EAE department's OR. Um, it's a thesis game for the master's program, correct? Yes, that's correct. We're going to let them introduce <clears throat> themselves and what they did on the team. Cool. Hi. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a team member on the Couch Cosmots, which is the company producing OR. OR is a four-player, top-down, twin-stick shooter where uh, four people locally work together to mine an alien planet of this precious ore. They use that to buy upgrades, kill aliens. It's a, it's a ton of fun. Yep. Sweet. Um, my name's Steven, and I am the systems designer and also an engineer on the project. And my name's Hayden. I am the producer on the art team for the team and the game. Yeah. My first question for uh, these lovely three members of the ore dev team is, what is your favorite part about being on this particular team? Oh man, our team is great. So our team's actually really, really big. Uh, it's the it's the largest team in the program's history. So we have 20 members right now, plus uh, <laughs> plus another uh, person who's composing music for us, and she's she's not in the program. She's actually remote, but um, so you could say we have 21 on the team. We used to have 22 yep, even before sure. her. Yeah. So yeah. So we had a couple people move around, some people got jobs, and, and now we're kind of settled in for the final run up to the end of the program. So we're almost there. Uh, I love our team. Our, uh, working with everyone in every department is really, really cool. Seeing all the talent, I think that's my favorite part. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great team. Um, I, I just love working with people who complement like, my skills. I, there are a whole lot of things that I can't do. Um, and so, so having uh, this great team that has all these skills <coughs> that fill in all those gaps means that we can create a much better game together rather than just by myself. For sure. Yeah. And then uh, part of the job of being a producer is making sure that everybody is happy while they're working. <laughs> so sometimes that goes well, sometimes it doesn't. But my favorite part about working with this team is that I like everybody on it and part of my job is to make them happy. And so that makes me pretty happy surprisingly little drama as well you'd consider oh, you'd extremely be, little you'd be think there'd be more but yeah with a it was team a of lot 20 of people students, the yeah, last the yeah. last <coughs> masters game that i interviewed there were six or eight people <laughs> on their team yeah. wow so so follow a question to that with the biggest uh, team in ea's history um what are some of the problems that you guys have run into with just so many people on the project communication yeah it's huge. It's always top one. Yeah. Any software development team will tell you communication is always the number one problem that they'll have. The more people you have, the harder it gets. Yeah, especially so. like cross-disciplinary communication, right? So you have some artists that, uh, that are very good at, say, uh, like modeling weapons or modeling characters or, or you'll, you'll have a programmer that wants to work in a very specific area and then there are designers and you know everyone on the team has an opinion about what what parts should go where and how things should be tweaked and changed. And uh, I think in the, the first semester of the project, one of the hardest, hardest parts was um, getting those, those, those cross-disciplinary like communication lines open and making sure that people felt like comfortable coming to someone and giving them feedback on their work. And like that was, I think, probably the toughest stumbling block. Yeah. Yeah. Also, also uh, being a large team, we've been able to go a lot further than other games. And I think there's a big question mark for us, at least, about how far we could go. Mm -hmm. um, I think we made it, like, especially in certain aspects, art-wise, we, we made assets much quicker because we just had the manpower. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's still looming over a, a lot of what we're, like, rounding out now. How much further could we go? Right. How big is the actual game? Yeah. Th that kind of stuff. And how right. much content? And then just knowing where to stop and, <laughs> and <Yes>. then polish. <laughs> yeah. Like when, when do we stop adding features? That's, yeah. That's we stuff. Because we can make something in a weekend, but then it takes two weeks to polish it and make it feel right. 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 Yeah, so yeah. we got to know when when we got to stop. Mm -hmm. And that's hard when you got twenty people that just want to add more and make this thing you know better mm. every single day. My next question. Um, in the different disciplines, I understand that this can be very different, but what is the worst bug that you have encountered while building this project? The worst bug? <laughs> from from each discipline sample. Yeah, so uh, sure. each of you will probably have a different answer simply because that's sure. how it works. <laughs> uh, there was this really actually cool bug that was it was it was really bad. Um, it was physics based, so the you could rotate the character by 
by turning the left thumbstick, uh, yeah. you could spin that fast <laughs> enough because our character has a skeletal uh, mesh, mesh yeah. that would, all of that was physics based. So his arms would stretch out like infinitely <laughs> long in two directions so and become awesome. like a giant helicopter nightmare creature. That was a really, really good bug. Um, that was exciting. And then we just put a limit on how fast the character could turn. It was actually a pretty easy one to fix, but it was really a fun one to find. Yeah, there's there's a whole lot of fun bugs, like um, when spawners sort of break and you've just got a million enemies on mm -hmm. the screen. They're, they're a lot of fun. Uh, they're not hard to solve most of the time, but it's just good to have a laugh. The, the um, music being corrupted was probably the hardest bug. We haven't fixed. That's still oh, fixed. Oh, sure. Yeah. That's in terms of bugs to, to that, like, there are certain, and there's also, we can't go past version 4.16 of Unreal right now because mm -hmm. of, oh. that if we, <laughs> that if we, we tried to upgrade, then everything just started crashing. Right. Ah. But Yikes. So that's okay. <laughs> and some of our features are just locked into a certain version of the yeah. game engine, and that's okay. That's a, yeah, but they, those are like, aren't there. That's like unsolvable bugs. Mm -hmm. Right, but there was a point where we prototyped for like four weeks straight all these different features that we had in our heads and we wanted to get out. There was one really fun. I don't know if it would technically be considered a bug, but you would have a, a mine launcher where you shoot out mines, and you could shoot out like it, you could upgrade it through getting more ore, uh, and yeah. you could shoot out like sixty mines and then have them all explode one after another, and it would crash the game. It's great. Yeah, there's a lot that of explosions really on wow. screen, a lot of fire. That's wonderful. awesome. Yeah. That's always the best way to crash a game is with explosions and fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's one of our kind of our benchmarking tools is like how much chaos can we fit onto the screen before the game crashes, <laughs> and then just like dial it back one notch from uh, there and just keep it right underneath the crash point. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So still talking about bugs. What's your favorite feature? Or a bug that started out like it wasn't supposed to be that way, but you just decided we'll just we'll just leave that there. That was totally unintentional, but maybe we kind of like it. Mm, uh, it's kind of a tough one. Yeah, a lot of that's. We I, I don't know if that's because there are a lot or not that many. <laughs> no, it's because no. we usually design very intentionally. So yeah, sure. usually, a, when a bug <clears throat> pops up, it it we're on top of it really quickly, and we know that like. Based. Like we know it's not going to quite work mm. with the system that we've already designed. Um, I, see. I really sure like happened. that we can light. So we have in in the game we have these very large uh, like insectoid enemies. Uh, they're a couple times larger than the human characters on screen, and we can light those on fire, and then they will freak out and run away and light their friends on fire, and that will continue oh. on. <laughs> I think that might be right now. It's in the running for my favorite feature. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think of well, what what the the best so I so I do a lot of balancing, and I sort of move uh, like so the values how much you can shoot how long it takes to shoot all those back and forth, um, so I get to play and and make the character run a hundred times faster than it currently does and all those sort of <laughs> things, and they're they're always fun to see and and a couple of those we've we've always I always start with those numbers and then start to tune them back but then it's always interesting when we get back up to those numbers I remember when we first started we were looking at the sort of like explosion radius and I think you specifically turned to me and was like 2000 is preposterous and I think we're currently at like two and a half right? <laughs> 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 the, the, yeah just, just turn over it the time <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you turn it down and make everyone feel okay and then you get back to where you <laughs> where it's actually fun yeah 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 that's really cool. You can check out the Geeks Play that will be up on our YouTube and the Geek Wave website. We wanted to thank you guys for coming onto our show and oh, for letting us know about your game. Uh, so we have a Steam page. Um, we're greenlit on Steam and uh, we're gonna try and get on some other platforms, but for right now, guaranteed on Steam and you can find us. Uh, we can also go to our website or thegame.com. And there'll be links to their website and socials and everything in this description down below. So make sure to check those out. I also, uh, we brought a couple t-shirts if you want to give those away. Those are sweet. Those are yours. Yeah. There's, there's a couple there uh, for you to do a giveaway with. Awesome. So we'll be doing that. We'll be figuring that, that out. Play. Watch our social media yeah, too. Yeah, watch the that social media. We'll, we'll post it. It'll, you'll see the post somewhere. Oh, one, one other thing. Uh, if you go to our website or thegame.com uh, and you enter into our mailing list, we'll send you a demo version of the game for free. Oh, wow. Sweet. Yeah. There you go. 
Fantastic. If you guys want to start playing right now. It's ready, yeah. That's where you go. All right. Uh, with that, we're going to say geek out, everybody. Thank you. Geek out, everybody. Woo! Go!